Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another fantastic arcade game video for you this evening. We've got a really uh, bananas one today. We're going to look into something here in a second on film. But this is Atari's Road Riot 4-Wheel Drive. Now, if you're an avid watcher, <laughs> viewer of our uh, videos, then you know we've already done an Atari Road Riot four-wheel drive video. And it wasn't even that long ago. I think it was six or seven months ago, something like that. But I had to do another one because of this cabinet. So this cabinet that this game is in is not a Road Riot four-wheel drive cabinet. It was another game before that. So the operator bought the kit from Atari, or from the distributor, uh, the Atari Road Riot four-wheel drive kit in the early 90s. I think it was 90 or 91 when this came out. And they installed it in an old cabinet that they had in their warehouse and made it a new game again. So we had, uh, we've had people remark on our videos before in the comments, uh, you know, that, you know, you should turn that game back into the original game that it originally was. And so I thought we'd talk a little bit about that and show this cabinet as a good example of that discussion. But d different people have different opinions on it, but I'll tell you my opinion. So what game was this originally? Can you tell? How good are you? Now, if you're a big uh, arcade game fan, it's pretty obvious just looking at it. But uh, if uh, you played them back in the day and you don't completely remember what all of them looked like, it might not jump out at you. So this cabinet originally was white and had a uh, side art all the way down. And the operator that we got this from, we bought this in a warehouse not too long ago. Um, he had a way of, he put... He put laminate on all of his cabinets whenever he did a kit. So the original white side art, he's covered with this red laminate, and he did a pretty good job. It looks good. It's a nice, clean kit. So whenever you bought a kit back in the day, it would say uh, to paint the cabinet or to put laminate on it or whatever to try to make the cabinet look brand new instead of just trying to install a kit in an old beat-up cabinet. Right. So he would have had to have change the uh cover the uh, add this laminate to cover over the original side art and so he did that and it made it look really nice so on this side he has done the same thing looks great right and he even took the trouble to do it on the front he put laminate around the coin door so he would have had to take the coin door all the way out just to add that red laminate but that's what he wanted to do so he did it all right. That, well, actually, is that just paint? No, that's laminate. Yeah, he did that. Okay. So the operator that did this, he went through a lot of trouble to kit his games, and we bought we, we bought several of them out of that operator's warehouse, and they were all kind of done like that. So my point is, when this was actually done, this thing probably looked brand new. It probably looked like a brand new game, you know. So then the other thing that he did was it came with a new overlay. So he put the new sticker over the old sticker um, or cleaned off the, uh, the control panel and put the, the uh, overlay on the bare metal, right? And then he mounted the controller right in the middle. Did a good job with that. He put a start button in, which is all the controls that it needed. Um, and then it would have came with a um, marquee. So he put the new marquee in, so everybody knew what the name of the game was, right? And then he put these side art stickers on it, so they came with these square, these square stickers that said Road Riot Four Wheel Drive. That are mostly still there. Atari Games, 1991 Atari Games Corp, all rights reserved, right? So this guy, whenever he did his, he even put the sticker on the back, so it came with a manufactured by Atari Games Corporation sticker. And it says, if you look really close, model number 532, which is the model number. Each Atari game had a different model number, and that's the, that's the model number for Road Ride 4-Wheel Drive. Right? So he kitted the crap out of it. Well, on Road Riot, you have to add a pedal. It needs a gas pedal. So look at what he did down here. He, um, and again, I think when this was new, it would have looked a lot better because I think he probably got it just right before he 
put it out on location. But down on the bottom of this game, there is a little re almost like this board's been added or it comes off, right? And the pedal is in here, and he had trim that he put around the wood. So this, if you know, if you just cut it, there would be bare wood there. But he went through the trouble of putting trim around it, and it probably looked really good when it was brand new, right? So the game that he chose to turn into a road riot four-wheel drive, there's only two options, right? So this is actually an Atari cabinet. So the original game was also an Atari game. And you can, if, you're, if you've been into games for forever, you know, it's just obvious looking at it what game it is. So I'm, I'm sure at least 80% of the people watching probably already know what game it was. But there were only two games that came in this cabinet. So this was Atari's System 2 cabinet. And the only two System 2 games that came in this cabinet were Championship Sprint and Paperboy. So Championship Sprint had two steering wheels on it. it had one here and one here that were mounted kind of like this. And remember, this is an Atari game too, so it was real similar. It had a, it wasn't exactly like that, but it had a kind of an angled thing that mounted right here with the steering wheel on it and then one on that side. And then uh, down at the bottom, there were two pedals, one for each side that went in that hole there that we were talking about how the uh, this wood piece comes off. So there would be two pedals in there. Now the, the System 2 cabinet was made to be where you could change it into any System 2 game. And so the side art was just generic. It just said Atari games or whatever on it. Uh, and it looked really nice though. It had uh, colored lines on it and stuff. And it was just the sides of the cabinet were white. Okay, so the whenever the, I don't know if Paperboy was a kit or if Championship Sprint was the kit or if you could buy it either way, but uh, whenever it was a Paperboy, this piece of wood covered up where the pedals were because you don't use pedals on Paperboy. So that piece of wood, either the guy made for this cabinet or that's the original Paperboy piece, right? So we can't really tell yet if this was a Paperboy or if it was a championship sprint because it could be a championship sprint and whenever the operator kitted the game, he took the two pedals out, they just unbolted, it's really easy. Um, and then he just put a piece of wood over it with a hole cut in it for the pedal and blah, 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 right? Or it could be a Paperboy, and that's the original piece that came with Paperboy, and he just cut a hole in it to install the, the, um, the pedal. So the, to make it a Paperboy, all you would have had to have done was change the board inside, change the control panel, put that piece of wood on it to cover up the pedals, and uh, change the marquee. So... I haven't opened up uh, under the control panel yet, but the control panel will probably give it away because if it was a championship sprint, you would expect that there'd be some kind of hole here where the wires for the wheel would have went down through the game on each side. But there's, it, it seems like it's all flat and that there's just a hole in the middle, which was exactly how Paperboy was. So what I'm going to do is we're going to unlatch the control panel and look at the bottom of it and see if we're looking at the bottom of a Paperboy control panel. All right, I accidentally started a game and hit the start button when I took the control panel off, but here we go. That's it, it must have been a Paperboy. All there is is a hole in the middle, which is the hole that was in the middle of the Paperboy control panel to mount the, uh, the handlebars on. If you had a championship sprint, you had an entire different, different control panel that you mounted on the game, so. so why did the guy turn his paper boy into a road riot four-wheel drive now first of all i like road riot four-wheel drive i don't have any problems with it i think it's a fun game it's a cool game but most people would say that paper boy is a better game you know and paper boy is worth about four times what a road riot's worth maybe even more so if it was still a paper boy oh the other thing is paper boy and championship sprint used a medium resolution monitor and Road Ride 4-Wheel Drive is a low-resolution game, so the guy actually had to change the, the monitor, too. Um, but the medium-res monitor had probably already blown up. It's probably why it wasn't out on route anymore. But <laughs> the, the, the uh, people... Oh, no! Oh, it glitched. Look. Well, not really. It's just the, the engine is inside the, the track lady. 
Um, some people say, why in the world would anybody turn a paper boy into a road ride four wheel drive? And we get this all the time. Like people just don't understand, I guess. I, so I figured we'd, we'd mention it a little bit. The reason he turned a paper boy into a road ride four wheel drive is probably because the paper boy was broke. This is this kit came out in 1991. It said so. The paper boy was broke in 1991. There were arcade games everywhere. People weren't like still playing Paperboy. They were playing newer stuff. So this was the new hot game. And even though it wasn't as good as Paperboy as, as time has suggested, at the time it was the new thing out and kids hadn't played it yet. And so he did it for money. That's why he did it. The, <laughs> the reason that he bought a Paperboy in the, the operator, the reason that he bought a Paperboy in the first place was for money to put it out and to get all your grubby little quarters, right? So the operator, he used the money that he made from the paper boy to feed his family. Just like you have a job and you charge money, or I hope you have a job if you don't go apply somewhere, but um, you charge money for what you do because you need money to feed your family. That's how it works. So that's the whole reason that these games exist, you know? So it was a paper boy to make money. And then in 1991, as crazy as it sounds right now, uh, Road Riot Four Wheel Drive was the, the the new game, you know. So he turned. I'm dead last. So he uh, he he bought the kit. He put it in one of his old cabinets that he had, so that he didn't have to buy a whole new cabinet. And he turned a great game like Paperboy into a so-so game like Road Riot Four Wheel Drive. And he probably made a lot of money off of it. So then we then we always get people saying, well, why don't you turn it back into a paper boy? It's just, it's so cost prohibitive. I mean, it would cost a lot of money to get just the controls for paper boy or worth a fortune. The board set you would have to get, I'd have to find a medium resolution 19 inch monitor. Not too many of those around folks. Um, I'd have to uh, do all kinds of cosmetic stuff to get it back right. And the cabinet, it's in good shape, but it's not in mint shape i mean it's got water damage here and there um so i could do that and spend a couple thousand dollars and a ton of work to turn it back into a paper boy or i could just leave it a road riot four-wheel drive what's wrong with that right what's wrong with that if we keep deconverting all of the kitted games that some of these games are going to cease to exist you know i mean how many Road Riot four-wheel drives are still up and running? Ask yourself that. Are there, are there more paper boys still up and running or more Road Riot four-wheel drives still up and running? Probably more paper boys because it's a collectible game. It's fun, really hard, but um, lots of people want it in their game room because it's such a, a great game. Road Riot Four Wheel Drive. It's all right, you know. It's a fun game, but it's it's not a collectible classic. Everybody wants it type of game. A Paper Boy. If you offered a Paper Boy to anybody, everybody would take it. If you offered Road Riot Four Wheel Drive to somebody, you know, inexpensively, you know, some people would buy it, and some people wouldn't. So it's Paper Boy is just much more collectible, and I would suggest that there's probably more working Paper Boys around than Road Riot, than Road Riot Four Wheel Drives, and it probably should be like that. You know, I mean, Road Ride's not as good of a game, so there's not going to be as many of them uh, in collections. But if we deconvert every one of these, eventually there's not going to be any of them left. And there ought to be a few left, right? I mean, Atari spent a lot of time and money and effort to design this game. And it's a, it's a fairly fun game. You can link them together, too, by the way. Um, so, Road Ride 4-Wheel Drive kitted into an Atari cabinet. An Atari driving game cabinet, kind of, you know, like uh, Paperboy's kind of a, at least had steering controls, right? So isn't this kind of the best kit cabinet for this game to possibly be in? Right? I mean, that's how I see it. It's an Atari game in an Atari cabinet. Um, it's just, it's it's like the perfect cabinet for it. So I'm leaving the damn thing a road ride four-wheel drive. Now, it's, I'm not going to be able to sell it for anywhere near as much money. But I'm also not going to have to spend as much money to try to make it into a paper boy. So, now the other thing too that we always talk about is on kit games, because the guy kitted that game into a road riot, the cabinet is still here. It got it another 20 years or whatever, you know. 
I guess it's been 25 years, but whew, time flies. But if he wouldn't have kitted it and he would have just left that paper boy sitting in his warehouse, not making any money, you know, and people say, well, you could have fixed it. Yeah, you could have fixed it. But the thing was, it wouldn't have made any money. If, if it was an old game and you put it out on location back then, they didn't earn. They didn't earn at all. I worked for an operator for a long time, and once a game got old, it would not be unlikely to go in some locations, and the thing only made a dollar or two for the whole week. I mean, that sounds crazy, but it's true. So if a game got old, it would get down to it's making $2 a week. That's not even paying for the electricity to be turned on all day, you know, and hope nothing breaks, right? Um, so what would the guy have done with his paper boy? in 1993 or 1994 when everybody wanted to play Mortal Kombat 2 everybody wanted to play Super Street Fighter um, everybody wanted to play Cruisin' USA at the time everybody wanted to play that Neo Geo you know would the guy have left his paperboy sitting in the in the warehouse for another 20 years till somebody bought it for their collection well, maybe I mean there's been plenty of them bought like that or maybe not maybe he would have destroyed it <laughs> it go talk if if you ever get an opportunity to talk to an operator if you get it if you get a minute and you remember just ask them if they've ever thrown any games away and you'll be amazed at the stories they go oh yeah yeah we used to throw them away all the time oh yeah i parted out i parted out 30 of those things you know i've i've had operators tell me that they they uh that they've thrown away that they remember throwing away you know classic games that you know we all think are great now like uh, stuff like afterburner afterburner was in such a unique cabinet you couldn't turn it into anything else so if you weren't going to operate it as an afterburner you could leave it sitting in the warehouse or if you needed some room you could throw it in the trash you know and, and a lot of them did that with a lot of games right so if they wouldn't have kitted this they would have probably thrown it away or parted it out at least the cabinet would be gone but so what do we have now we have a cabinet the cabinet still exists it's still here it's survived all these years now maybe the day will come when somebody really, really, really wants a paper boy, so they they find this game somewhere. We won't still have it. I'm, I think it'll sell pretty quick, actually, because any kind of kid driving game usually sells pretty good. But uh, somebody will find this game down the road. They'll really want a paper boy, and you, they'll find an original paper boy cabinet, and they'll go through the trouble and the expense, and they'll they'll have an original cabinet. Um, that survived all these years that probably wouldn't if the guy wouldn't have kitted it so before you rip on all the kits and talk about how crappy they look you know it's such a crappy game just just temper that a little bit you know because the guys and the girls that were operators did this to make money that was their number one thing you know it's a job just like everybody else's job so to us now we have the advantage of looking back and saying oh this game was fun this game wasn't fun but at the time it was a business you know and you can't complain that all of the arcades have closed and then in the same breath criticize operators for doing what made them money you know if they would have made more money maybe the arcades would still be open so with that said let's play a little road riot four-wheel drive i actually filmed our other one so i'll play that uh, video and uh, we'll uh, we'll have a little fun playing this game that even though it's in a paperboy cabinet has survived all these years all right folks this is a Wells Garner K4900 monitor in case you're wondering 19 inch has a little burn in if you've seen any of my videos before I don't care about burn in I like it I'm not saying I want it but if it's there I don't care Road Riot four wheel drive. I was going to talk a little bit about that picture that I showed you of the uh, the Tron. So basically, that is a Tron, and then Bally released a kit for Tron. I think it was called it was either Twin Tigers or Two Tigers. So it was a game that you could convert your Tron into. So that that panel that's above the the uh, original Tron, where the original Tron control panel was, that big boxy looking thing. That is part of the kit that Bally sent you specifically for a Tron cabinet to turn it into that game. So someone had turned it into Twin Tigers or Two Tigers, and then they had turned that game into Road Ride Four Wheel Drive. So what they did was they took the, the, the Tigers stuff off of it, uh, put the overlay over that box, and then mounted the, the steering yoke for this game 
uh, on top of it. So the game had been converted twice. Pretty funny. But anyway, we'll play it a little bit and see what you think. She looks just like the girl in Pit Fighter. Beat, also an Atari game. Beat yellow, hosting opponent team to continue to next race. Shoot cars to slow them down. Ready, set, go! <laughs> what? Oh, I'm hitting you with the control panel. I mean, with the uh, steering thing. I'm gonna have to move you back slightly. All right. There we go. That's much better. Like all good games, it has good sound effects. Like the the uh, the shots just sound good. Oh, you can run over the rednecks too. That's what a winner looks like, people. Yep. Look at me. God, I'm cool. Choose next. Oh, my Lord. Oh, we got to do Vegas. <laughs> wow, look how cool. Your host is Andy Arctica. What? Did it move off Vegas and I didn't notice? Ready, the girl's gonna get cold. Get the hell out of the way. There we go. So some of our, some of our YouTube subscribers have been telling me that this type of game is called a Sprite Skeller. Oh yeah, I just did a 360 because of the ice. Oh, I killed some people. I killed some Eskimos. Wait, are there Eskimos in Antarctica? Probably not. I saw something. Oh, come on. I'm in fourth. It's that damn Antarctica. Oh, no. I killed the people again. Look, things get, things get violent out here. Slow down. So if you, you loser. Opponent team wins. Oh. Get the third. Hosting opponent team is dead last. All right, is it going to let me pick Vegas, or I'm going to have to do that one again? Yeah, it's going to let me pick. Okay. Vegas, baby. Come on, now. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Ready, set, go! That's more like it. So where is Elvis Vegas? I was promised Elvis Vegas. Ugh, right into a rock. 
rock. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn! I guess I can't just keep the pedal to the metal. Oh no! Damn it. I was trying to slow down. There's no brakes. me bro damn it too many rocks people <laughs> all right I gotta try to calm it down maybe they'll all wreck Look out. Dead That's how you do it, people. Dead last. Dead last. Check it out. I got the chicks now. Yeah, buddy. Look, I got my little trophy. So let's see if we can do uh, the Swiss Alps. You are host of race. How does That's a dude. Ready, oh, Helga drove me right into the damn tree. Whoa, damn, rock right in the road. I thought I blew him up with my gun. Instead, he hit a rock that I immediately ran into. Oh, no! coming I was trying to get out of the way I think I've hit that rock every time around oh no mm. right into the tree was there mm. 
Mm. Posting opponent's team wins. Read it. They got me, people. They got me. Well, there you go. That is Atari's Road Riot four-wheel drive fun game. I like it. I give it the thumbs of approval. And you should give our video the thumbs of approval. So go ahead and do it right now. Utter, tell me what I won. I did excellent, people. They're just happy that I gave them uh, 75 cents. I'm SL. There you go. All right, folks, there you go. Road Riot Four Wheel Drive. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you didn't mind the little rant about kits versus dedicateds. And don't get me wrong. If you can find a dedicated, get it. There may even be a dedicated Road Riot four wheel drive. I'm not sure. If you can find a dedicated, get it. But if it's if it's a nice clean kit and uh, it's a, it's a decent game, I think we should leave some of them kitted. That's what I think. If uh, if we take all the Arganoids out of uh, uh, dime a dozen Pac Man cabinets and turn them all back into Pac Man, the day will come when there's no more Arganoids. So we we got to leave some of these kits kitted. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up for filming it for you. And uh, leave your comments below. Hopefully I'll get quite a few on both sides of the this, of this story. But uh, leave your comments below. Make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't already. And you can always check out all the games that we have for sale on our website, lionsarcade.com. So go check that out too. But we will see you on the next video. Let's hear it for Road Ride 4-Wheel Drive.